Hey, good morning, everybody. It is day 10 on the Appalachian Trail, and I am hiking towards, basically towards the camp I was supposed to get to yesterday. I'm not going to camp there, but I might use the privy, um, stop for a snack or something. So my little salt spot last night worked out really well. Um, <laughs> sorry for the uh, very emotional <laughs> um, talk that I had, but appreciate you guys listening. I actually had no service there, so... If you're out here and you need somebody to talk to and you're a YouTuber, this <laughs> I talk to you guys. So anyway, I appreciate y'all. Um, you're great listeners, by the way. <laughs> Seems like, you know, uh, y'all are always paying attention. Um, so anyway, hiking towards the border officially, but I know it seemed like it's going to be a big, uh, it's going to be hard to do last night, but I feel good about it today. Just ready to high five that sign and Knocked down my first state, 13 more to go after that. So, um, some good news to report. We, the, I just got a voicemail. He actually um, called me a couple days ago, but like service is so weird out here. You sometimes don't get stuff for a couple days, but it was the gentleman that owned the Garmin. So, uh, we left it at Hustle Around the Bend and um, he's going to get with them and, and get it back. So, kind of some good news on that. I'm sure that. Uh, Gordon and Lisa will get it back to him. I told him, he said he might just try to go get it himself. I said, yeah, you should go there and stay for a night. Wonderful place. Like, like I said, they're so good to me. Like, they're like 15 years younger than me, but they're, as hostel owners, at least, and then I was kind of the same way at uh, Above the Clouds. They're kind of like staying with your grandparents a little bit. Like, it's uh, like they, I kind of think they kind of understand what you're going through from seeing so many people coming through, especially so many people coming through at the same stage of the hike, so. Yeah, like, I mean, Lisa was, I thought I just forgot my water bottle yesterday. I didn't know I'd even forgotten all the other stuff, but like, I was just getting, I just thought there, I was like, oh crap, I don't have my water bottle. And was about to try to call her and she pulled in like basically 30 seconds after I had got dropped off by, by Gordon and gave me all my stuff. So you can't beat that. And then Gordon, like, <laughs> he's awesome too. Like they were trying to feed me yesterday before I left, you know, and I was like, oh, I'm not hungry, appreciate it, but, and just like a grandma, <laughs> he, he brought me, he heated me up two pieces of pizza and set them in front of me and said, eat this pizza, you won't have to worry about stopping for lunch later, so, if there's any way to tempt me with some food, whether I have an appetite or not, is definitely pizza, like, <laughs> that's always been my, probably my favorite food overall, so. Anyway, I'm uh, marching towards the border, knocking out state number one of 14. Um, if I hadn't mentioned that, there's 14 states on the Appalachian Trail. So, uh, like I said, <laughs> this border crossing was going to be a tough one for me. But like I said, the rest ones, the rest of the ones uh, I crossed should be like a happy thing. So, <laughs> uh, so anyway, appreciate you watching. Just got to take some Coach Treadwell, and I know he's. His Brave Life kids are, are watching. So shout out to you guys. Thank you for watching. Awesome group of kids. Um, it's like a kind of a program for the special needs kids and they like teach them life skills, but it's really beyond that. Like they're running the, the Braves Coffee Company. <laughs> like they run a coffee business at the school and really sell the best coffee like ever. Like, like I've just gone up there and got coffee a couple of times when <laughs> I think people just off the street go get coffee. Like it's, there's no coffee um, stands, you know, in my town because you know, there's no, not really nothing in there <laughs> for the most part. So anyway, thank y'all again. I feel pretty good today. Um, I really think stopping at the self spot was a good idea. I had a good good camp spot. Still didn't sleep great, but it's kind of on a slant a little bit. And, well, if there's any advice I can give you. If you're going to be camping, is try to get a flat spot. I know it's not always possible, and I've definitely learned not to sleep like on a right to left slant. That's impossible, but if I have to sleep on a slant, I try to have my head a little, you know, on the upper side and my feet on the lower side. You still slide around a lot on your mat and stuff, so. But I know I got a, a town stop coming up, and so I thought it was going to be in tomorrow, but I'm a little behind on mileage, so we'll see how it goes. I did definitely decide last night I don't want to try to hold myself to a certain mileage or I'm just going to enjoy the hike. And I'm sure there'll be days where I stop sooner than I plan to and 
I'm sure there'll be days where I'm feeling really good on a night hike three or four miles extra. So it's just kind of the way it goes. Quite an experience out here. I can't believe. I know it seems I was like three or four videos ago. I said I wasn't going to be one of those YouTubers that gets emotional and stuff. But I don't know. Maybe there's something about this trail. <laughs> it's just hard to understand, I guess. Oh my gosh. Well, anyway. I'm starting to go uphill now, so getting close to the border though. I think I'm within a, probably half mile or so, so I'll, I'll probably at least take a picture there or something. And I'll talk with you guys later. Well, we made it. Here's my first state border. I'm crossing it now. I'm into North Carolina. I don't know if you can see that there's a sign one state down 13 to go i'll miss you georgia been good to me for 50 years and um that's that's all i got talk to you guys later well didn't have to go far into north carolina to find a iconic landmark this is i believe the twisted tree at black Gap. Very cool tree. Some people take their border crossing photo here. It's just like kind of cool, but I took mine down at the sign. I'll probably take one here too, though. Why not? How cool. Oh, wait, there's something in the tree. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I think um, it's, a, it's a Hot Wheels car. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Fun fact about me growing up, um, when I was a kid, my mom would not let me have a Hot Wheels car. For whatever reason, I think she thought it was too, I don't know, vulgar. <laughs> she would only let me have Matchbox cars. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anyway, very cool tree. Very cool. I got to go pretty far back. I left my trekking poles back there, so I'm walking a little extra for you guys. <laughs> what a cool tree. Pretty awesome. I'm glad I'm through Georgia. I feel like I can enjoy the hike better. I feel a lot better just after after getting into North Carolina. It's only been, been like a quarter of a mile ago, probably. We're right near there. Good camp spots up here. It's cold AF up here, though. It's windy. Anyway, had a good, good night's sleep. I heard like the loudest noise um, last night, and I believe it may have been an owl. It was so loud. Wasn't any like scary animals. I know what they sound like, but I was just in awe of how loud it was. It, it probably was an owl. <laughs> I'm gonna try to see some other people that camp close to me and see if they heard it. But anyway, cool tree. Hey guys, just stopped for lunch. Nice long lunch break at the shelter I was trying to get to yesterday, but I didn't make it. So I picnic there that I'd met the other day. She's probably shooting for standing Indian shelter tonight, so I may see her again there. I think that's what I'm shooting for. I met a nice lady at the shelter named Summit Hello. from Florida. She's hiking with me. She was maybe gonna take a zero at the shelter because her feet were bothering her calves, but I asked her if she wanted to hike with me and just go like the five more miles. So she at least make some progress because we get some like cold rains coming in at the end of the week. So. Um, more bad news that probably won't surprise you at this point. I lost my selfie stick uh, back on the trail somewhere. If anybody happens to find it, um, <laughs> it's blue and silver or whatever, but oh well, it's just the way it goes out here, I guess. So I'm going to try to order another one, maybe get uh, shipped ahead to a hostel. So I'll just have to do it on my uh, the old fashioned way for now. So forgive me if it's not quite as good a quality. So. So anyway, we're getting back on the trail. Had a good snack, good break. Um, just gonna try to keep going, try to get to the next shelter. And I'll talk to you guys later.
All right, people, some more breaking news. I bought 2.2. .2. I haven't lost anything that I know of. 